just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. Team. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now he always huh. says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. All right, all the hype gives way to the action here. Both fighters have now touched down on the canvas, and we are ready to go from the Mecca, Madison Square Garden, here in New York, New York. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Muhammad Ali. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Chong. Herb Dean, our referee for this Great. one. Good. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Oh, that's a big hook there. Kick landed there by Choi. Early connection with the left from the champ. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. All right, so about a minute into this one, and not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was me falling asleep. I'm sorry, John, I gotta wake up. Guys, get going. They just heard him with a left hook, yep. Joy gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. And everything's landing with so much power. The 
Korean Superboy going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Just over three minutes to go. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Slips that left hand. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. He blocked that punch. Straight punch. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Just missed with the left there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Slips. Well, deep. Oh. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, my goodness. Nice jab by Short. Oh, beautiful. Big shot to the head. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice right hand. Man, has his chin been tested early. His misses are entertaining. Work, guys. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. 30 seconds in the round. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice shot. Lands downstairs. First round winding down here. reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. All right, next round is now under Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed punches. Swing and a big miss by Choi. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue. The last time I saw a cut like that, it was only versus him. Guys, it was and you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Choi's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Joy gets caught by that straight punch there. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, that's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, right hand, yes. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Choi's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Beautiful combination! All right, so he continues to land a high ball on strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. Man, this is crazy. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the group. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun, and hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every Ready time fight. you get hit in it, Ready. it just gets worse and worse. You're going to have to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, that is the end of the round. Choi's nose does not look like it did at the beginning of this fight. Perhaps it is broken. It is certainly pouring blood. And you got to think the referee is going to call on the ringside physician to come in and take a look. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things 
if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the Ready. cut worse. Round three of a possible five. Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Muhammad Ali's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pick. For that. Choi's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Circling away towards the left now. Straight right is there. Great block there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Did you hurt him a little bit? Choi going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Goodness, what a fight. Official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming.